when our day's called, you hope that you've done enough, right? And you hope that you've affected enough lives. Your life is not about you. It's about everybody around you. And, and that was something that, that I think we preached as parents growing up. You know, we talked about, you know, always saying please and thank you, how simple that is, and then preached random acts of kindness. And Taylor was, he, he was the best. Well, he was a shy, shy little yes. one when he was born. Million dollar smile. He was always my baby brother. Even though he was so much younger, we just connected, you know? Like, he, he trusted me. I trusted him. I would always make fun of him and be like, he's the youngest, he's the most spoiled, mom loves him. Um, to me, yeah, he would be so quiet, but then behind the scenes, he'd be so sweet. At LeBlanc, they had him write who you were. And Taylor's like, I love my sports, I love Mizzou, I love playing football. I'm a type one diabetic. I know everybody's worrying about me all the time, but I'm okay. I am who I am. I'm okay. When you have something like diabetes or, you know, at a young age, you're just blessed every day that you have. Tuesday morning, the 21st of January, this year, 2020. So I checked on him. I was getting ready to go to work and you know what's your what's your blood sugar and he said i don't know you know i i tried to prick three fingers and i couldn't get any blood out of him so i called an ambulance and just told him i said hey, he's a type 1 diabetic he's hasn't eaten in probably 24 hours 36 hours they got him out into the ambulance the ambulance rolls out no siren. I'm like, okay, we're okay. Things are good or whatever. And of course they get down the street and then I hear the siren comes on. Unbeknownst to us, we found out later that he, you know, went into cardiac arrest. No one's supposed to die at 26 years old, especially a kid of that character. You wake up every day and that's the th first thought in your head is why isn't he here? And some days are great, some days aren't great. I mean, at times it still doesn't feel real, I guess. I mean, people, I mean, obviously, how you doing? How you doing? You know, if I had a dollar for every time somebody said that, wow. What do you say? <laughs> After Taylor passed, there were a lot of people that reached out to us. One person that did was a girl that went to Central here, and she sent me a message and said, you know, Taylor has impacted so many lives, and um, she wanted to share her story. One night, I found myself extremely depressed. I wasn't doing very well in school at the time and I was overwhelmed with my life, so I felt completely lost. Taylor happened to have texted me and asked what I was doing. I broke down and randomly just started telling him that I couldn't do it anymore and I didn't want to live. He came out and sat with me while I cried and then he walked me back to the sortie house. Taylor went out of his way that night and got me. He found me in a dark place and he saved my life. And as he leaves this world, he's saving even more lives. They came up to us and said he was an um, organ donor. And to know that Taylor once again was helping others. And the kid that never told us a lot just did it on his own. Makes you pretty proud. During the honor walk, walking down the hallway and Something just came over me. Hey, let's go. Taylor's about to save some lives, guys. Let's go. Oh my God, let's go. Oh. I was incredibly proud. And then people actually said, hey, I became an organ uh, donor yeah. because of this. Oh, yeah. You know, I, you know, it's on my license. I celebrate my brother's life every single day. My girls talk about him every day. There's, they have little things in their rooms that bring him up every day, and it makes me smile. 
Like he just had the biggest heart. And knowing that his heart is beating in someone else's body right now, I mean, it's just it's incredible. Now people hear the story and they're like, wow, like he's a huge hero. Like he's an amazing guy. And I'm like, I know. And now I get to brag even more and say, yeah, that was my brother. Yeah.